What did you learn for us today? Today, we want to talk about... A the, tooth. Yeah, tooth. The ability to make a crown and the, the post itself with a single unit. Uh, this way, when you want to prepare a tooth, when you want to make a, a crown on the tooth, you don't need to remove this much material and you can be as uh, conservative as possible. You can leave most of the tooth. You don't need to remove from the buccal uh, side, from the palatal, from the, both of the mesial distal. And with the new cement, with the new adhesion protocols, you can mount the crown on the prepared tooth while leaving most of the tooth unprepared, still having the maximal volume of the, of the tooth remained. So what you are saying is, if preparing crown this way, with this method, the base on which the tooth, you take less material from it, you drill less, and you need it, and it will hold better because you have more of the original tooth material. The chances of the success for this type of treatment are much higher because when you mount a crown on a minimally uh, removed tooth, you'll have higher chances for the success for this, um, for this type of restoration because the thicker the walls of the tooth, the less it will break and it will hold much more. When you have a root canal treatment, the percent of success of the, the treatment is not that big. You have about 50% in five years success. So you do want to leave as much tooth as possible and you want to cement the tooth. Why the success uh, rate is so low? When you make the root canal treatment, you need to remove material from the inside part of the tooth, where the nerve itself. And when you want to mount a crown on this tooth, you want to remove material from the outer part of the tooth. So the, the walls of the tooth are very thin. And the crown sits on these walls. And because they are very thin, you have a high chance for breakage. Uh, and most of the times what you have is a wood fracture on those kind of teeth. It, for example, in premolars, you have it in very high percent, percentage. So in these cases, what we want to have is leave the tooth with the tooth walls as thick as possible and have a restoration that mounts on these walls and adheres to these walls and the, the restoration itself won't break. The failure itself, itself is coming from the, the tooth and not from the crown. Can you make uh, this method that you leave most of the original tooth in each uh, area, like in canines also? If you have the ability to keep the, the tooth dry, yeah, without any moisture, without any saliva, without blood, you can cement the crown on the tooth with the post, with the core in one piece. And you'll have, it's, it's like making an inlay or onlay on this tooth. Instead of making a crown, you just cement and you just mount the crown on the tooth. And because the crown coming with the post itself, it holds the tooth from all of the sides, from the inside and from the outside. And the core that is added to the crown, yeah. how do you calculate its size? You can either uh, make impression any traditional way, or you, right now what we do is we scan the tooth from the outside and the inside. Because the scanner itself, the interval scanner, it has about a depth view of 20 millimeters. So when you put the tip of the scanner on top of those teeth, you can see inside the tooth for about, I think, 10 millimeters. So when you make the tooth hollow for the core itself, you can see everything with the scanner. And if you have the right shape, you can even see all of its walls with different types of angulation of the scanner. So you, you, doctors use uh, intraoral scanner in root canal treatments, not only in implants. There are other uses. Yeah, you, you're using more and more intraoral scanner in root canal treatments because instead of making traditional impression and then uh, scanning the impression itself. In here, you don't have anything that's moving. You, you already have the, the tooth itself and you have the inside part. If you don't have any uh, saliva, any blood, you can scan it, excellent. So if you made a root canal treatment, you clean the tooth, you make it dry, and you just scan it as it is. 
this is mounted already the new yeah crown. this is the crown mounted you can see that the the crown itself is glazed uh, in the color of the tooth and you don't see any line that separates between the tooth and the crown itself so uh, you have here perfect adhesion you don't have any aesthetical problems this line that you're talking about it's another failure point that can be another failure yeah. point. It, it can be but if you have good adhesion if you have good preparation of the tooth it won't be the the only problem with this kind of line is sometimes after root canal treatment the tooth loses a little bit of its color it, uh, it became becoming a little bit of gray so this can be an aesthetical problem so in this case maybe you want in the buccal side to remove a little bit more from the tooth because you want to restore the uh, the aesthetical part of the tooth but you'll have horizontal seats for the crown itself you won't have any possibility for the crown to break the root to two thank you for being with us you're welcome and thank you for being with us don't forget to like share subscribe follow us if you're tuned with the newest cases we hope you enjoyed thank you see you next time